I love a pop country jam as much as anybody else, but I had to stop rocking with Taylor Swift a couple of years ago because the alt-right was lifting her up as their Aryan queen and she refused to address it. In fact, when a blogger wrote about it, she sued the blogger. That's when I knew we couldn't have no relationship. Now, since then, I and probably most of the world have assumed that Taylor is a Trump voter. She's white, she sings country music, or she used to, she lives in Tennessee. And when given the opportunity, she has repeatedly refused to denounce Trump. She stood on the sidelines because she didn't want to alienate her racist fans. Now that was it for me, even though I did like reputation, she chose what side she wanted to be on. We're done. But over the weekend, Taylor made an Instagram post saying that she endorses Tennessee Democrats. Surprise, surprise, someone has come to their senses. Now, I don't know for sure, but I bet that that Brett Kavanaugh thing was the last straw for her. It makes sense since she won that lawsuit against the DJ that groped her. And if Kavanaugh is what pushed her over the edge, she's not alone. The polls show that for educated white women, Brett Kavanaugh was a bridge too far. The GOP confirmed a man who is at best a committed liar and at worst a rapey douchebag and white women, well, the educated ones, were not having it. Now, of course I gotta roll my eyes because the house has been on fire, but I am glad that more people are joining us and trying to escape it. And hopefully we'll see many more Taylor Swifts in the coming months. And they're late, like soup. Super late, but I'ma roll my eyes and move on. Truthfully, I'm not super interested in the why didn't you do that sooner conversation. And also, I don't get the impulse to rush to tell this woman that she ain't shit or that this means nothing. When one of the most famous women on the planet endorses the people that I want to win in Tennessee, I consider that to be a good thing. I don't care about the PR war if she's encouraging people to vote against the people that I hate. If five people change their votes because of Taylor, we're good. Now, I'm generally pro-shaming white women to do less harm. Shame them. But I'm not gonna shame you for doing what I need you to do. I'm okay with white women in mass suddenly coming to consciousness because that is a win for me. I need them to go right on down to that polling place and cast the right ballots so we can do something to stop this shit. I get the cynicism. I promise you, I understand it. But my priority right now is not gonna be berating somebody for doing something that serves my political political interest. And that doesn't mean that when we see a white woman doing the right thing that we greet them as liberators. No, <laughs> we keeping you at a distance. But once you're in the door, then we can have a conversation about why you're awful so we can set some boundaries. But I need you to get through the door first. You gotta get through the door to be of any help to the communities that I care about. We need all hands on deck to fight the evil side of this equation. And when they do fuck up, tell them don't let it slide, but we need to make some real strategic moves to stop this death dealing political regime. Because if these coalitions don't happen, the people who need change the most are gonna be screwed forever. We just can't win if white folks don't do different stuff. And I am in favor of courting non-voters and new voters, a la Stacey Abrams or Andrew Gillum. But in many parts of the country, that math does not add up. And again, if you're mad at the white women who just decided to get their asses up off the sidelines, I get it. I know a lot of us are resentful that there are more than a couple political goals that we just need white folks for. That sucks. But we gotta find a way to work through that resentment productively. And by productively, I mean strategically. Go off, girl. Catharsis is great. It's important. But catharsis is not a political strategy. We gotta win something. None of this matters to me if we're not getting to the finish line. I hope that by now, the people who thought that politics isn't a big deal or that voting doesn't matter or that you can just wait and see what happens recognizes that we are in some deep shit. And I say all the time, white women need to do their work. So if you've just decided to join the effort to extinguish this gigantic dumpster fire, welcome. But we're watching you. Well guys, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. If you like the work that we do here, become a patron on Patreon. There's exclusive content over there. It's lit, it's poppin', or make a one-time donation. Links for both of those things are below. Grab some merch, sign up to be on our email newsletter. That's all I got. Thanks guys.